Today we're going to be taking a look at the SuperWinch LT4000 ATV winch. The winch is going to feature a rated line pull of 4,000 pounds and it's going to feature a sealed 1.4 horsepower permanent magnet motor. Uh, it's going to contain reinforced steel drums that are designed for synthetic rope and it's going to have a relocated in-motor brake which is going to protect the rope from heat. Um, the gearing on the unit is going to be machine cut metal gears. That's really going to help increase shock load performance. Right here at the front, we're going to have an aluminum Haas fair lead that's going to reduce wear and tear on the synthetic rope. It does feature a free spooling clutch with an ergonomic control located right here on this side of the winch. Uh, it's got two positions. You're going to have an engaged position and a disengaged position. Engaged means that it's ready for winching. Disengaged allows the winch to go into a free spool mode. That way you can grab the hand saver strap, extend the line out quickly to where you need it and uh, then when you're ready to winch you just want to make sure that's fully moved back over to the engaged position. It's going to come with uh, some different remotes to control the in and out functions of the winch. You're going to get a 12 foot long handheld remote that way you can operate the winch from a safe distance. It's also going to come with the handlebar rocker switch that way you can mount this to the handlebar on your ATV and control the winch uh, from the seat of your ATV it's going to come with the wiring and the mounting port for the handheld remote to connect into. Um, so this would hardwire into the unit and then you would mount this uh, at a convenient location on the ATV. And then when you want to use the handheld remote, you just plug the two in and then you can operate that from a safe distance away. Again, that handheld remote is going to measure 12 foot long and then you're going to have plenty of wiring here for the uh, handlebar rocker switch to get all of that mounted correctly and mounted to the ATV. Uh, all the necessary wiring and hardware is included. So it's going to come with the battery leads, uh, the solenoid to winch connectors. That's going to have the inline circuit breakers. So all the wiring and the hardware for the rocker switch and the handheld remote is included as well. When it comes to the mounting plate, I already have it mounted on there. But this right here is our mounting plate. The winch simply mounts to it. The mounting plate is going to measure six inches by five and one eighth of an inch. It's going to come with your rubber boots. That's these six parts right here. Uh, the rubber boots are going to protect the wiring connector. So you're going to get two for the winch, two for the included solenoid assembly. That's this unit right here and two for the battery posts on your ATV. Now when installing all the different components and when making your wiring connections, uh, please refer to and follow the included instructions that come with the winch. When it comes to the gearing, we're looking at a three-stage planetary gearing system. The gear ratio is 166 to 1. Uh, it does have the sealed solenoid, and then it's going to have the inline uh, circuit breakers right there, so it's circuit breaker protected. It's going to feature an automatic 100% load holding brake. The synthetic rope on the unit is going to measure 50 feet long by 3 16ths of an inch in diameter. Here on the end, it's going to have the forged steel heavy duty clevis pin. Um, that's gonna have the hook and it's gonna have the safety latch mechanism to prevent accidental disconnecting. It's also gonna come with a hand saver strap. The drum diameter on the unit is gonna measure two inches. The dimensions of the winch, we're looking at about 13 inches long. Um, just the winch itself from the front of the winch to the back of the winch is going to be about four and one quarter inches wide and then the height from top to bottom is going to be about four and one quarter inches tall. On the bottom of the winch you can't really see it because I have it already installed on the mounting plate but basically right here where I have the four bolts installed that's the mounting points on the bottom of the winch. Those mounting holes are going to be separated on center going this direction by three inches and then going across this direction it's going to be four and seven eighths of an inch. Again, all the wiring and necessary hardware is included to get the unit installed. And it comes with really nice detailed instructions as well as an owner's manual to help with maintenance responsibilities. And it's going to recommend replacement parts. It makes everything very easily accessible um, as an owner of the winch and all the components. But that's going to do it for today's look at the Super Winch LT4000 ATV winch.